how to create shadow copies for share folders and what is shadow copy service on windows server 2003 environment by tech.petercrise.com first let's see what is the use of shadow copies shadow copies for shared folders is a new file storage technology in the microsoft windows server 2003 operating systems Shadow Copies for Shared Folders uses the Volume Shadow Copy service to provide point-in-time copies of files that are located on a shared network resource, such as a file server. With the previous version's client for Shadow Copies for Shared Folders, users can view shared files and folders as they existed at points of time in the past, without administrator assistance. Accessing previous versions of files, or Shadow Copies, is useful because users can Recover files that were accidentally deleted. Recover from accidentally overwriting a file. Compare different versions of a file while working. First, log on to a server with administrative rights. Go to my computer. Select the drive which you want to create a shadow copy. We will select C drive. Right click on the C drive, go to properties, click on the shadow copy tab. As you can see, shadow copy is right now disabled. Click on enable. Yes. When first time you create a shadow copy, enable the shadow copy by default. It automatically takes the snapshot of all the share folders in our in the uh, drive which you selected. You can also click on create now, which will take the snapshot snapshot of particular time which you when you select the create now. Now let's go to setting. From here you can set the limit of the drive space which shadow copy will use. All you or you can click on no limit you can click on schedule tab to schedule the shadow copy after you can also select new to s make a new schedule for shadow copy you can also click on advance on advanced tab you can select a starting time starting date in which the shadow copy will start and also the ending date in which the shadow copy will stop taking the snapshot of folders click on repeat if you click on repeat you can select a particular time at which time the shadow copy will automatically take repeat again and again i will select 1 minute Now click OK. OK and OK. Now as the shadow copy is enabled on the C drive, let's go to the client machine and let's see how the shadow copy is work. Type the username, password. Enter. Now on the client machine, let's let's I am let's assume like I am a user. I am clicking on the my computer and let's connect to the network resource. Double slash put the server name. This is the network resource. Now let's select the particular folder in which I want to make a changes in the folder there are uh, three files and one image like I 
accidentally deleted this image and I want to retrieve it back to retrieve the image back just go back to the sh shadow copy folder click right click on the folder go to properties click on previous version as you can see it is showing two shadow copy folders at different times this was 3 am and this was 255 now you can s view particular files from this folder like if you want to view this one click on view and you can view or if you want to view this click this and view now if I want to retrieve this particular folder I can right click I can just click here and click on restore click on the restore the folder has been successfully restored to the previous version click ok now as you can see the folder the file which I have deleted has been came back now let's change something on the particular folder and let's see what happens now I change some numbers on this particular file now instead of saving as I just click on save now the file has been overwritten now if a user wants old file back you just have to just go to the sh network uh, share folder and uh, right click here go to properties go to previous version click on view like user want both files the one he created right now and the one he created before just go to the one minute hmm. click on the shadow copy folder click view now let's copy move this folder from here to here that is drag and drop now as you can see the old folder has been copied on the desktop click on the folder as you can see it is 1000 and in the network drive in the network drive it is different thank you for watching this tutorial our next tutorial will be very informative which will be on disk quota thank you